Hello everyone. Uh, today I'd like to talk about um, losing the initiative. Uh, yesterday I had uh, made a video on uh, taking advantage of uh, gaining the initiative and winning games because of it and having your opponent play your game. Now, um, again, I went back to uh, some of the games that I had played before online, and I had come across one uh, November 3rd, uh, 2023, and at the time I was 1613, my opponent was 1523. My opponent is playing the white pieces and I'm playing the black pieces. So, uh, initially, uh, black goes into the game um, just kind of reacting to white and that's where I kind of get this idea of uh, gaining the initiative, turning the tables on your opponent and um, if you can capitalize on their mistake then you can essentially gain the initiative. Now this isn't a video about what the best move is uh, according to my computer if you'd like to follow along it will show you uh, the various uh, positional analysis of how I played and the things that I will uh, look for in this game are uh, question marks uh, things that my computer kind of thought were um, kind of weird and I'll go through and I'll try to explain some of my, my, my ideas when I was playing this particular game. And um, I think during this game, one of the things I kind of found out about myself is the fact that I was moving too fast. I got a little bit too cocky, which, you know, uh, unfortunately does happen to people from time to time. Um, but it's not a, um, not, not something that I can like fall back on and say, well, that was because of this, uh, loss. Um, again, I was never able to, uh, gain the initiative. So the game starts out. And... This is the Horowitz defense again. And what I had played was bishop d7. And as you can see here, you know, um, black can play uh, a g3. Uh, the knight can be placed on either um, sorry, not g3, g6, uh, knight f6, or knight e7. Uh, the dark square bishop can be placed on uh, d6, or uh, c6 is another book move. And of course, we have a6 as another alternative. So there are quite a number of alternatives. Uh, one could play. Unfortunately, I didn't play any of them. Now, this was uh, an interesting move. Uh, my opponent, well, not my opponent, but an, an interesting move that I had played that my computer was kind of questioning and um, it really doesn't do very much other than I was trying to defend the bishop and I still have the ability uh, to castle uh, kingside or I can hopefully uh, develop my knight in order to castle queen side but I'd rather have more uh, pawns in front of me and I think castling uh, queen side is probably not a very uh, good thing to do so 
so my opponent played this move and they uh, have forked both a pawn and my light square bishop and my king does defend the pawn and the light square bishop as well as my knight on f6 defending the light square bishop This move here, my computer thought was kind of an interesting move, but really doesn't do much. And my idea behind this was to prevent my opponent from castling kingside. And the way that I had done that was just to uh, block one of the uh, squares needed for my opponent to castle uh, kingside. And I thought too with uh, that if perhaps my opponent would push the pawn, the pawn could come down, pawn would go up, maybe my bishop would come back. But the game continued and my opponent came down and attacked my light square bishop, trying to push it out of the way. And of course my, my opponent wants to castle kingside and uh, my opponent wants to push this light square bishop out of the way. So I retreated my light square bishop, my opponent castle, king side, and then I had played this move, knight e4. And as you can see here, uh, the position evaluation is in white's favor. I'm still a bit behind. And the reason why I had played this move was um, I wanted to attack the hanging pawn and hopefully attack the um, queen as well. At least that was the idea that I had. So my opponent got rid of that idea right off the hop and I thought okay that's fine um, I can still defend my pawn so if my opponent pushes the pawn down I can just simply move up with the pawn but then again I have to be careful of um, these two pawns here that support each other so my opponent could uh, push the pawn down and don't forget as well my opponent's uh, knight also uh, is in the game too so I'm not really doing anything I can't find the initiative in order to continue on and I'm constantly uh, being controlled by my opponent So my opponent comes down, attacks the queen, and then again, I have to defend. So I move my queen up. The computer didn't like this very much. And as you can see, the positional valuation here um, looks like I'm prob probably gonna lose a rook somewhere down the line. And then of course, my opponent comes down and now this pawn here is under attack by my opponents, knight and queen. And I have new problems that I have to uh, deal with as well. So what I thought I, what I thought was a good idea was pushing the pawn to g6, but it's not, well, it's all, it's okay, I guess. Um, I had thought that maybe my opponent could maybe come down here and somehow maybe wiggle over here, you know, threatening the pawn, maybe even threatening the rook. That might be a short-term solution, but... Um, 
probably it's safer just to move the queen back. So my opponent moves the queen over. And then uh, there's this threat here. And I have to be careful uh, not to move this pawn because it defends this light square bishop. And I think the idea behind this was somehow to um, capture the the uh, light square bishop somehow in order to uh, gain control of uh, perhaps these two squares with my op oh, um, the opponent's knight would uh, control but then it's like how do you get rid of this light square bishop so I went ahead and castled kingside and uh, course my opponent comes over and uh, attacks my my rook and I thought that okay that's fine my light square de bishop does uh, defend uh, this I'll put it in green instead does defend this uh, square as well as the knight defending this square as well and I think perhaps my opponent had ideas of maybe coming down here and uh, maybe trying to win the rook somehow. So I played this move, pinning, uh, pinning the knight um, to the rook so sort of securing the, the, the knight and the rook um, so my opponent has to uh, move the rook out of the way in order to um, free up the knight so my opponent moves their knight and uh, the computer thought this was kind of a questionable move and even this here my computer thought well this is kind of silly and um, again, uh, moving the knight back, my computer thought this was really silly. And then I opted to play knight d7. Now, the reason why I played this move is if we go back one, my fear was my opponent would come down here and check the, the king. I'd have to move the king out of the way and the queen would probably come down and uh, attack uh, my rook that's no longer defended. So I thought by moving um, my knight here, I'm defending my, my rook and I'm defending against um, this particular threat here. So my opponent played this move and then I come up and I try to push the knight away. I didn't think anything of this move. But this is kind of a silly move to make to begin with because what will happen now is my opponent will can sacrifice the knight and if I take back with the pawn trying to defend then what happens is uh, the white queen comes over attacking my king and I have absolutely nothing I'm just reacting to my opponents um, threats right now and to keep in mind that that particular idea is open you know the rook is hanging and again here as I said before about taking the knight my opponent right now is 
attacking these two squares here. So there's not much I can do. My knight is defending the rook here as well as the rook being defended. And uh, there is also uh, the threat here which will fork my queen and king. So there's a lot going on here, a lot of threats. And um, my opponent, you know, has the initiative in this game. So I thought, okay, let's move up here. Maybe that would be an idea. You know, taking this uh, square away from my opponent because of the rook. And after I had taken the knight, my king and rook are being forked. So he's gained a tempo. And not only that, um, once I move my king over here, then my opponent's queen can come down and attack my king. You know, my rook is going to fall. It's just an all bad game to begin with. So I decided to maybe come up and defend the rook. And I thought that maybe perhaps getting my rook out into the game would be an idea. But that being said, once my opponent takes the, the rook and the king comes over, my opponent has this move here, which attacks my king. So my opponent takes the rook and the computer thought that this was kind of silly, thought that, oh, your position has uh, changed somewhat. And of course I make a move like this that maybe perhaps I shouldn't have, maybe I should have just let the knight go, but I'm not too sure how I would uh, be able to continue on in this uh, position. Perhaps, uh, perhaps exchanging the knight, I mean the late square bishop for the rook would have been a better idea. But then that being said, well no, that's, uh, that's uh, not a very good move for my opponent. I thought, well if my opponent comes down here to attack the king, they lo they'll lose their queen with this rook over here, so that's not an option at all. There is the option here, though, to come up here and attack uh, my king. Keep uh, even more pressure on my my king. So, as I said before, I came over and took the, the knight, and then, of course, my opponent comes down and uh, checks my king, and, you know, my king is going to move away someplace. I got... Um, I got a hanging pawn here, you know, the, um, I'm not quite sure how the game would continue on, but I'm not doing very well, uh, right now. I do have these two, uh, moves here, but my opponent just, there's just too much pressure with the queen coming down. So that's how that ended up. I wasn't able to gain the initiative in order to um, uh, make, I, uh, to capitalize on my opponent's mistakes. And um, that being said, I probably should have looked at the board a little bit better, but like I said, I can make excuses all day long. I just wasn't able to get the initiative uh, from my opponent and uh, try to fight, fight back. Now, if you're interested to see how the game might play out, I'll show that to you now.
and there you have it. It's just, just a horrible game. Hats off to my opponent for uh, playing so well. Uh, thanks very much for uh, watching this video. I hope you found it fun and entertaining. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.